Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and thank you for coming back to another 4K review video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, new release from Sony Home Entertainment. Uh, this is a new 4K Steelbook. The movie is Gattaca. This is only available on Steelbook, at least in the US, and this is a new 4K release. Just came out a couple weeks ago at the end of March, so I am just catching up to this one, but I'm going to give you my thoughts on the video, the audio, and the packaging, and really whether this one is worth upgrading or not from an existing Blu-ray or DVD that you may have. So jumping right into this review on the visual side of things, this Gattaca 4K presentation is pretty nice. You know, it is a, a nice little uptick in just quality and detail over the Blu-ray, which we've kind of come to expect from Sony, but I actually thought that the previous Blu-ray, just in terms of your, your quality and your detail levels, never mind color and how that looks, was actually really solid and this 4k just kind of expands on that it does take it a step further but the biggest thing for me on this 4k release was the way that they handled the colors now if you've seen Gattaca before you know that it has this sort of really heavy burnt orange sort of tint uh, made very clear by the steelbook color here it's almost like this color of the steelbook is sort of overlaid over the entire movie and it's it's a clearly stylistic choice um, that directors and cinematographers and visual editors all made. On the Blu-ray though, this was obviously very apparent, but also made things like skin tones almost go too into that, too much into that fake tan territory, right? Things were really like orangey. People's skin colors were just off. They were burnt orange and not, you know, your usual kind of flesh tones. And so that really kind of threw me for a loop with the old Blu-ray, and a lot of the scenes were almost too much. The, the best thing I can liken it to is sort of, if you've ever seen Breaking Bad, now Breaking Bad always has this sort of bluish green tint, and when they go into Mexico, the tint always gets super yellowy orange, burnt orange, and it's this really heavy tint layer over the entire film. That's what we got for Gattaca. Now this 4K release with HDR, I think drastically improves on that without losing some of the stylistic choices. So you'll see in some of these screenshots here that skin tones have obviously been completely resolved. They look so much better than they did before. And you will notice that a lot of the orange tint in the background hasn't been completely removed, but has definitely been toned down, which I don't know if that's a Sony doing or if that's directors and cinematographers getting involved in changing the way they want it to look, if that's the added color space of HDR giving them the real look and feel they wanted, but either way, I view it as an improvement. Now this is definitely not the way that it looked before, so if you liked the previous Blu-ray, the coloring here is going to be a little bit jarring at times but I will say that it doesn't dramatically change a lot of other things in the visuals for this 4K release. A couple screenshots I'm gonna show you here, but these are, you know, not, no skin tones involved. They're more outside. They have blues and greens and other kind of primary colors mixed in. And you'll see that those really didn't change much. The brightness level maybe came up a little bit, contrast is a little bit better, but your highlights and your bright primary colors really didn't get affected too much. So they didn't do a full overhaul, but they definitely toned down that orange tint and it certainly improved at least skin tones, which was the number one thing that kind of always stood out to me in the movie was how everyone always looked like they had a fake tan and any scene um, that took place outside always had this really orangey sky. And they sort of fixed that without losing some of those stylistic choices. So I think it's a much better 4K release but it's a bit hard to grade. Now, outside of those added and upgraded visuals in HDR, we're also upgrading the audio here for Gattaca. We're moving up to a Dolby Atmos track, which is really nice. It's an upgrade from the previously available Dolby True HD 5.1. Now that track that was previously available was already very solid, had a lot of good moments in it. And you know, this movie, it doesn't have a ton of action that really would um, require an Atmos, but it has a really nice score, which sometimes, you know, the Atmos track can really expand on that and give you a much more like 
orchestra type feel in your home theater so i thought that was nice dialogue still remained very clear the few effects that you know they could use height speakers for and a little bit more uh, usage of the surrounds you know that was nice but i would say that the the visuals here are a much bigger change and in my opinion a much bigger upgrade than that jump from 5.1 to atmos was it's just not the type of movie that um, again really takes full use of what an atmos track could do like say a godzilla or Godzilla King of the Monsters, or something like Saving Private Ryan. Like those movies really can use that full soundscape. This movie's a little bit smaller scale, it has its moments, but um, it is always nice to have the Atmos track. That's always a good thing, I can't complain about that. But I didn't think it was as big a leap as the uh, visual upgrade, although it does help add to the total package. You've got visual upgrades with 4K and HDR, and you've got audio upgrading with Dolby Atmos. So it is a nice total package. Now, speaking of the package, here is your steelbook. This is your front cover. It is a glossy steelbook. Here's the whole thing. Try to not get as much reflection on this with the lighting, but it is a very glossy steelbook. Just kind of has Ethan Hawke on the front, Gattaca with the DNA. Um, now, you probably can't see this much, but because it's glossy, fingerprints already just from me holding this for a few minutes are all over it so that may bug you um, but then on the inside you've got uh, double stacked discs here not stacked on top of each other but stacked one behind the other 4k on top and blu-ray behind it this also did come with a digital copy which should redeem in 4k again i don't use the digital copies but from what i know about sony pictures uh, home entertainment stuff you should redeem in 4k there so overall, I do think this is another nice release from Sony, but it's one of their more confusing ones because I just have a lot of questions on, on how these visuals kind of came to be and whose decision that was. Some of you purists out there are some people who really did like Gattaca in their first viewing and liked that kind of tinted color, almost like a futuristic vibe that it gave the movie. You're probably not going to love this 4K as much as somebody who is looking for a cleaned up and much more color accurate picture because that is what 4K and HDR gives you. I am going to try to find out some more information on it, but that is why it's really hard for me to say whether this is worth upgrading for everybody. I think that it could be controversial for the big super fans of this movie, but for somebody like myself who's a casual viewer, I like this movie. It's not one of my favorites of all time. I appreciated the visual upgrades. Obviously, Atmos is really nice. And although it is only available in a steelbook and that's not typically something I'd go for, it is a fairly nice release overall. Total package, Sony did a nice job. So for most people, yeah, this is gonna be worth upgrading. It's a nice 4K, nice audio, but I am concerned that maybe some of you super fans or purists out there who really love this movie, just aren't gonna love the upgrades. I will leave a link to buy this down in the description from Amazon, that will help support my channel, so I appreciate it, but also make sure you check your local video stores, and you should also be able to find something like this at a Target or a Walmart, or possibly even a Best Buy, even though they are shrinking their media section, they tend to still uh, have the new releases, so you could find it there as well. But that's about it for the video, it for this review. Let me know what you guys think, especially you super fans after you see some of the screenshots, or you know, many of you probably already have this in your possession. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, but yeah, check out all the links in my description for ways you can support the channel and stay in touch with me on Instagram and on TikTok. Almost at 20,000 subscribers on TikTok, so. You know, it's a real platform. It's incredible how fast that grows. So find me on there, some cool content, lots of other cool collectors as well. Um, but yeah, subscribe, like the video. I appreciate all the comments and all the likes and support I've gotten, especially on some of my recent videos, which have taken me some more time to do and are a little bit longer form. Uh, I'm really proud of those. And so I appreciate all the support on them and all the support for the channel as a whole. Um, but that's about it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching this review. Stay safe and stay healthy out there, and I will talk to you soon.